be. This has been so long in coming for you, brother. Your six bill with switchers is built. Now, <clears throat> people are going to look at the pictures on Facebook, and Lee, you're going to look at the pictures on Facebook, and you'll be like, well, BBI, where did these little, these little power supplies go that were in here? Why'd you have to upgrade? They weren't producing enough power. Very disappointed in these. Never going to buy them again. So I went ahead and I gave it the upgrade. Pumped it up a little bit. 40 amperes. Boy, I helped a ton. So let's check this puppy out. Let's dive right down into it. So, what we got here is a 1,000 watt slug, right? 5 watt slug in reverse. We're going to be working in PEP on the 1,000 watt slug side. Now, PEP, we're going to start out with a 66 and we're going to go to the 955. And when it's all said and done, we're going to kick it with a little 2290. And Lee, I think you're going to be very happy with the, what this produces. So, let's start out here with the 66. Shut the box off. Demonstrate our drive level. Hello, BBI. Hello, BBI. 12, 13 watts, right? Turn the amp on. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. 425 watts. Hello, 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 One pills off, and now we're going to use our striker. Let's go ahead and shut that amp off. Hello, audio. It's about 80 watts of drive. Kick this puppy on. Hello, in the corner. Let's do that again, right? Hello. Thousand watts all day long, Lee, with 80 watts of input drive. Not half shabby. 14.7 on the meter, so it's not straining these power supplies at all. Hello, audio. Pulling it down a quarter of a volt, Lee. Tap to focus. Hello, in the corner. Lee, as you requested, all matched. 2879 Toshiba's Class B. And this box is artwork. I've been building some beautiful stuff lately, I don't mind to say. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to fire down on the little one pill. Kick the one pill on. Hello, what you? Hello. We're going to kick about 160 watts of drive into this thing. Turning the fire on. Oh, in the corner. Uh oh. Better reach over here and go to the multiplier unit. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. 1450 to 1500. Hello, audio. It's only half a volt to drop. Now, Lee, you can hit it all the way up to 200 watts, and you get 16 and some change out of this thing. It's not really necessary. I'm demonstrating the operation of the amplifier. This thing, at O BBI, at O BBI, turned out beautifully. Beautifully. We'll finish out the tin tomorrow. Lock it down. It's going to have two little blue fans over here. Blow air through. Comes right out the back. 
Now if you notice over here, Lee, there's a block. All the air that comes in this cabinet, and over here is blocked off too, all the air that comes in this cabinet has to exhaust through your extra wide heat sink fans here. Come out the back. Of course, as always, you provided a good ground and yeah, that solid copper bar. Cool, right? Cool. Lee, I hope you're happy. When you called me a couple months back, about five and a half to be exact. He said, man, I don't care how long I gotta wait, I know it's gonna be the best. I really appreciate your wife's participation in this too. I was really flattered that she's the one that initiated this whole order. Dude, anything I can do to help anybody out, you know I'm gonna do it. I appreciate you, Lee. I appreciate your wife. My name is BBI, and without a shadow of a doubt, I am definitely one of the biggest mud ducks in the entire Northwest. I am the biggest mud duck in Idaho. Ain't no shame to this mud ducks game. And I was pretty proud to say that I was able to get the uh, the wait time down to almost four months, and then the last two days it's gone right back up to six. The phone's been ringing, and I am gonna have to get busy. I appreciate everybody's support. I appreciate everybody's patience. God bless. Biggest mud duck in Idaho. I said, I see you. Bye.